This is breaking at the same time Democrats authorize a subpoena for the full unredacted report. They've also opened up a new front in their new season of oversight. Years of this president's taxes, personal and professional. The professional, they asked for them, will they get them? The other question is, will they be sorry if they do? We're gonna bring in a powerful Ways and Means Committee member to lay out the case. And the Chinese lady at Mar-a-Lago, it started as a joke, but now our intel folks, they're not laughing. We have their reasons for concern. My friends, it is never boring. Tonight it matters, so let's get after it. So here's the big story. The New York Times reports some members of Team Mueller believe the attorney general failed to adequately characterize the findings of their inquiry, that the stuff in the report is worse for this president than as summarized, and the timing could not be better for the Democrats. They're ready to send a subpoena for the full Mueller report, and now the House Ways and Means Committee, the only one with this power, they can call for the president's taxes. They can call for anybody's taxes. They're asking for personal and professional taxes from the president from 2013 to 2018, along with like eight of his business entities. So this is going to be a legal fight. It will certainly be a political fight. A general question is, is this about generating heat or light? We have the perfect guest for tonight. Congressman Tom Suozzi, Democrat from the president's home state of New York. Welcome to primetime. Hey, Chris, thanks for having me on. Good to have you. So first, the question of legitimacy. We all know what, well, I know what the statute says, that your committee is able to get this. Do you think there is any check on your authority? I think it's very clear that the chairman of the committee has the power to make a request uh, for anyone's tax returns from the Treasury Secretary through the IRS commissioner. And it's just as simple as that. No pushback, no little tricks that can be done, not hanging you up in court forever. The language is pretty clear. It says shall and shall deliver the, uh, the documents. And of course, I'm sure if the president decides he wants to or his team decides they want to, they're going to try and, and pursue some sort of legal strategy. But it may be in their best interest to just move forward and get this put behind them. Is it a check on your authority if the president is under audit at the time? Well, this is a very interesting thing that I don't think anybody's been talking about. The chairman of the committee has said very clearly that the reason he's asking for these tax returns is because there is a policy in the Internal Revenue Service that says very clearly that every president is supposed to be audited by the IRS. And the question he wants to find out has have they done their job? Back in the, the Carter administration, uh, the IRS put something in their manual that said, we want to take the discretion away from the IRS because we don't want to force IRS employees to have to make a decision, should we or shouldn't we audit the president? And instead, every president is supposed to be audited by the IRS. So you get the can you do it, do you have the right, then you have is it right to do it. Uh, what are you hoping for politically comes out in these and what do you see as the risk? I'm not really concerned about the political aspects. I think this is a policy issue that we have to do in the Ways and Means Committee. One great thing about our chairman, uh, Richie Neal, is that he said since the very beginning that he's going to be very judicious and deliberate throughout this process. He's going to follow the rules, he's going to have hearings, and he's going to make sure that whatever he does is going to be subject to scrutiny by other people and it'll hold up in a court of law. So he's been very, very careful throughout this process. And he's made it very clear, this is not about politics, this is about policy, and this is a very narrow and targeted request. What happens if, because we've never seen a president get put through this before, what happens if you get the taxes, there's nothing damning in the taxes that really matters in terms of the bigger questions of what we're asking, could it backfire and make it look like, you know, you guys are beating up on the president for no good reason? Listen, the chips have to fall where they may. This shouldn't be about politics. We have a job to do in the House of Representatives and in the Ways and Means Committee to actually look at policy and look at legislation. And this is the job we're supposed to do. And it's a knife said, it's a balancing point where we have to do our job, but at the same time we have to govern and we can't go too far that it looks partisan and we can't go too far the other way that we don't do our job to actually over, have, do the oversight we're supposed to do. And in this case, we're doing oversight of the IRS to find out if they're complying with their requirement that they do an audit of the president without well, fear or favor. While I have you, Congressman, what does the New York Times report mean to you? That some, I just want to be careful about it, some of Mueller's team are saying that they don't believe that the AG's summary did justice to their findings, but they wouldn't tell the New York Times 
which findings they were talking about. I what does that, that mean to you? It means to me that this is going to keep on going on and on and on unnecessarily, uh, because if the president or if the attorney general, I should say, would simply release the report, uh, this would be over as far as a conversation. Let's get the report out there. Let's get it out. You want to redact things because you believe that it's proper to redact certain things? We understand that you have a, a duty to do, but let's just release the report. That's what the public wants, and it's, the country needs to move forward. But the AG says that is what he's doing. He's just saying you guys only gave him a couple of weeks. It takes time. Well, the Mueller team did summaries of their entire investigation. Mm. And I don't believe that it's going to take the weeks that he's saying to get this out there. You know that they're focused on this 24 hours a day. You know this is a very important part of what they're working on right now. And I don't believe it's going to take, shouldn't take, weeks for them to get this report out. Hmm. One of the questions that we'll, uh, you guys will have to deal with politically is, you know, nowhere in the guidelines does it say that the AG should answer a question if the special counsel can't. I don't know why Mueller and his team didn't answer the obstruction question. That was his job. I thought he was in there because he was tough enough to make the tough calls. They didn't make a call on obstruction. The AG stepped in with the deputy AG and made it. That's not in the guidelines. Is that an issue for you guys? You know, I can't really comment on that because I don't know what the report says or what the findings said. Uh, I have great respect for Mr. Mueller's and I... I think most people in America do, and they realize, as, a, as even Mr. Barr said, he's a straight shooter. And uh, listen, the, the public really just wants to have the information. Uh, and we have to be very careful about all this stuff, because I understand when people say you're getting too partisan. Uh, we have to try and be balanced, as I said earlier. Do our job as the equal branch of government to do oversight of the executive branch without going too far that it's partisan. And that's a knife's edge that we have to balance on constantly. I think it was very helpful, for example, when the Speaker Pelosi said, you know, I don't think that the impeachment is a good idea. That was before the Mueller's report came out. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to be judicious and deliberate. And I think the Ways and Means Committee is doing that in response in, uh, re related to the uh, uh, tax returns of the president. And I hope that that's what will happen with the Mueller's report as well. This is going to be tough with the taxes because you're going to get a fight and then there's going to be on an expectation set of what happens if you do get them. It'll be a tricky balance. We'll see how it plays out. Congressman Swazi, great to have you on the show. Hope to see you again. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Be well.